Hey guys welcome to Infopedia, your infotainment channel. In this video we talking about most fuel efficient non-hybrid car for 2019. Number 10. The Kia Forte is one of the most compelling small sedans around. Much of that appeal stems from the car's value. Even the base 2020 Forte is equipped with plenty of the latest advanced driver safety features, for instance, and the mid-priced GT line comes with far more equipment than similarly priced sedans. At the top of the ladder is the new Forte GT, which ups the performance quotient at a lower price than other sporty small sedans. Number 9. The 2020 Jaguar XF is an interesting alternative if you're looking for something a little different from the typical German luxury sedan. Besides hailing from this British automaker, the XF delivers high levels of comfort and accommodating passenger and cargo space. It also typically costs a few thousand dollars less than the competition. But that comes with some caveats. In an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, the engine choices from Jaguar are at a power disadvantage. And the materials used in the cabin aren't nearly as nice as those used in its German rivals. Another issue is that the infotainment system is beset by occasional glitches and slow responses. Had the XF undergone the type of freshening that Jaguar's smaller Z sedan received for 2020, it would be on more of an even playing field as its rivals. Number 8. To achieve that elusive and all-important 40 mpg highway number, Hyundai needed to take more extreme measures with a new fuel economy-focused model. The Elantra Eco. Under the hood of the Elantra Eco is a new 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The whole updated Hyundai Elantra range ranks near the top of the class in terms of efficiency. But it's the 1.5-liter powered Elantra Eco that gets the highest marks. Returning 32 miles per gallon in the city, 40 on the highway, and 35 combined. Owners can expect to pay $1,050 in fuel costs per year. Hyundai's chief competitor to Civic is only 1 mile per gallon off, and as trims go up, it aligns fairly closely to the Honda with regard to features and pricing. That said, the best scoring Elantra is the mid-level 1.4 Eco trim, which raises the price by over $3,500, but comes with a more efficient engine and transmission. Elsewhere, the Elantra gets Hyundai's Smart Sense, automatic braking, lane keeping assist and drowsy driver alert, as a standard feature on all trim levels, even the base model. For the 2020 model year, Hyundai adds a new continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, to many of the Elantra's trim levels. By using special components and adaptive style shift logic, Hyundai says this new transmission provides a shifting feel similar to a standard gear transmission but with a CVT automatic's better fuel economy. Number 7. The Mazda-based, Cyan-faced Toyota Yaris sedan doesn't look much like the rest of the lineup, but its efficiency stays the course with other Toyota products. The 1.5-liter four-cylinder produces a mere 106 horsepower, 79 kilowatts, but helps return 32 miles per gallon in the city, 40 highway, and 35 combined. Annual fuel should set owners back about $1,050. The stylish new Yaris is loaded with flaunt-worthy features and has been redesigned for enhanced comfort. Take it for a spin anytime with the reassuring, it's a Toyota feeling and you know you've made the perfect choice. The Yaris comes with first-in-segment 7 SRS airbags. These include driver plus passenger units, side, curtain bags and knee airbag. This ensures optimum safety for you and your loved ones. Number 6. The current Honda Fit has been around for a minute, but even in old age, it's still one of the most efficient cars in America. With its 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine, the Fit gets 33 miles per gallon in the city, 40 highway, and 36 combined. Owners should expect to pay an annual fuel cost of $1,050. Honda's Fit, with its conventional 1.5L four-cylinder engine, would actually outrank many a hybrid crossover in a direct comparison of environmental efficiency. Its above-average fuel economy and below-average emissions are enough to get it to number two of all non-hybrids. 
and it's available with several advanced safety technologies, should you be so inclined. A handsome and roomy cabin with a practical, configurable rear seat helps vault the 2019 Honda Fit to a spot near the top of the subcompact car class. It also has agile handling and an extensive list of advanced safety features compared to many rivals. Number 5. The current Honda Fit has been around for a minute, but even in old age, it's still one of the most efficient cars in America. With its 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine, the Fit gets 33 miles per gallon in the city, 40 highway, and 36 combined. Owners should expect to pay an annual fuel cost of $1,050. The arrival of the Z Diesel fills a gaping hole in Jaguar's India lineup. The carmaker may have positioned the petrol XEs as the sporty choice among luxury sedans. But in a segment where diesels still reign supreme, it needed something to take the diesel A4, 3 Series and C class head on. This Z20D is the car for the job. It is powered by Jaguar Land Rover's increasingly commonplace four-cylinder, 2.0-liter Ingenium, turbo diesel engine in its 180 horsepower and 430 newton meters state of tune. The power and torque figures are 10 horsepower down and 30 newton meters up, respectively, on what the A435TDI and 320D's engines make. Merck's C220D makes less power but the Jag has nothing on the twin-turbo C250D's 204 horsepower and 500 newton meters. Number 4. Honda has two of the most fuel-efficient cars in America on this list, the Fit, and the turbocharged Civic sedan. With the smaller 1.5-liter engine and a continuously variable transmission, the Civic gets 32 miles per gallon in the city, 42 on the highway, and 36 combined. Owners should expect to pay an annual fuel cost of $1,050. That the Civic notched a top three result here shouldn't be surprising. When it debuted in 1972, the first Civic followed in the footsteps of the VW Beetle and Mini Cooper as a so-called, one-calorie car, and delivered a minimalist experience, especially at the pump. Flash forward to 2018, and the 10th generation of Civic still exemplifies frugality. Number 3. The Toyota Corolla hatchback boots the IM5 door from the Toyota lineup, though, the Yaris still exists. And with 32 miles per gallon city, 42 highway, and 36 combined, it's more efficient than its outdated sibling. The 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine with a continuously variable transmission produces 168 horsepower, 125 kilowatts, and costs owners an average of $1,050 in fuel per year. Corolla hatchbacks optimized suspension and dynamic shift CVT with paddle shifters will rev up your heart beats per minute. Corolla hatchbacks optimized suspension and dynamic shift CVT with paddle shifters will rev up your heart beats per minute. Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, TSS 2.0, 56 features pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, PCs with PD, 57 lane departure alert with steering assist, LDA with SAW, 58 road sign assist, RSA, 54 and more. Corolla Hatchback's cabin was designed around the driver's senses and comes standard with Android Auto 59 compatibility. It's nimble and engaging around turns and is decently powerful when you need it to be. On top of that, it's comfortable on long drives and comes with plenty of the latest technology and safety feature. Number 3. The 2020 Toyota Corolla Hatchback offers a lot of virtues in a small package. For a nameplate that doesn't normally evoke a whole lot of passion. The latest Corolla Hatchback is surprisingly fun to drive. It's nimble and engaging around turns and is decently powerful when you need it to be. Number 2. Though the diesel cruise is dying in North America, Chevy isn't pulling the metaphorical plug on it in other markets just yet. For 2019, both the diesel sedan and hatchback soldier on in the States. 
The former four-door option is the second most fuel-efficient non-hybrid in the U.S. right now, with 31 miles per gallon in the city, 48 on the highway, and 37 combined. The 1.6-liter four-cylinder diesel engine produces 137 horsepower, 102 kilowatts, and annual fuel costs are an estimated $1,250. The Chevrolet Cruze was launched in 2009 to rival the likes of the Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla Altus. It was introduced at a time when SUVs weren't as popular as they are today and gained its popularity for being a powerful and feature-loaded executive sedan. However, the Cruze still enjoys a strong fan following thanks to its positioning as a driver-centric performance sedan, while the others lean towards chauffeur-driven owners. The Chevrolet Cruze is certainly showing its age as its rivals are at least a generation ahead. This is particularly reflected in the interior, where the quality and space feel out of place in this segment. However, it still gets modern features and thanks to its efficient, yet fun-to-drive engine, it's still a great option to consider if you're a driving enthusiast. Number 1. The cheapest car of 2019 is also the most fuel-efficient. Even with relatively recent updates, the Mitsubishi Mirage maintains its 36 miles per gallon city, 43 highway, and 39 combined rating, beating the next best Chevy Cruze diesel by a modest 2 mpg overall. With its tiny 1.3 liter engine, just 78 horsepower, 58 kilowatts, and a continuously variable transmission, Mirage owners spend an average of $950 per year on fuel. There's a simple reason the Mitsubishi Mirage is so efficient, it's a very simple car. It's not loaded with hundreds of pounds of luxury equipment, total weight is a very svelte 2,100 pounds, and it's powered by a 1.2L engine with just three cylinders. It might not have much power, 78 horsepower, 74 pound-feet of torque, but it also doesn't have much of an impact on your wallet or the environment. 